As I said on that video, I don't want to castigate those women. Usually, when we see people behave in the way that these women have behaved in these videos, we either side with them or we castigate them. I don't want to castigate them. What I'm more interested in is for them to understand how this is playing against them. And to also, I guess more importantly, highlight where it's coming from because sometimes a woman doesn't even know the origin of her behavior. If you're a woman who has anger problems, if you have anger issues, I want you to know that it goes beyond what is happening each time that you display this anger. And I want you to know the source of it if it's been bothering you because what this does is that it creates a life that doesn't feel completely at peace. You don't have harmony and you feel like something is missing. Just a comment. Yes, come out. If you want to sleep there, you sleep there. It gives one a feeling of having a hole somewhere and we try to fill those holes with other things. So I want us to begin to understand things from a psychological point of view, to understand our reactions and our actions and why these things happen. And with this knowledge, we can prevent passing this on to our children or to young ones around us who are under, under our influence. When a woman has anger problems, it means that she will never be in her natural state. She will never have that natural state of peace that nature intended for her. And it means that she will never really get a taste of what her life should actually be like. Inner peace is one of the biggest gifts that a person can enjoy in this life. But having eruptions playing out like these ones here means that there is something that needs to be dealt with. And sometimes the woman isn't even aware of it. The woman isn't even aware that something is creating these things. Sometimes she's not aware that there's something that needs to be resolved that is lying there inside of her. And sometimes she knows that there is something that just hasn't been resolved. It means that she will never really be in the state that nature intended for her. And that consequently means that she's never really going to enjoy life the way that she's meant to. She's going to react to life with trying to fill a vacuum that she feels inside. Sometimes she doesn't even know that that vacuum is there. And the different things that she does to fill this vacuum can be like comfort eating, which then makes people put on weight. It can be being extravagant, excessive shopping. It can play out in so many different negative ways that have a negative impact on this woman's life. If you care about having that peace, or if you know someone who you care about who is in need of this calming, then please pay attention. Sometimes these things are not obvious, and the person may not even be aware of them. Those are the types that something has happened in the course of this person's growing up when they were young, as a result of neglect or trauma or abuse from adults in their environment when they were growing up. And this... So this plants a seed inside that woman and it begins to grow and it's going to manifest because it throws a spanner in the wheel of her development and she needs to adjust to be able to contain situations that are unpleasant uh, because it's, it, it's an issue of survival and she's not aware when this thing starts growing inside her. Uh, it sparks off a fire. She needs to adjust to be able to survive. And so she finds that she needs to bear her fangs at life to make things work for her. And in life, that's what we do. We always adjust so that we can survive. Uh, it's called the survival of the fittest. So, and so this fire that begins in her is not a bad thing, except that unbeknownst to her, it's going to now take on a life of its own. And 
she at some point is no longer able to contain it and she loses control of it from time to time and it seeps out into different areas of her life. You can find this particularly sometimes when a child uh, has had some sort of neglect or trauma created or caused by a parent. The reason why this is so deep-seated is because it's the natural thing for children to expect love and care from their parents. Once this is missing, this creates an issue that has to be taken care of. There is no way that, like, like the body functions with all its organs, every time that there is an organ that isn't functioning properly, it's the same thing as with a child. A child needs its two parents. Every time that one of the parents shirks or is absent, whether even by death, uh, something that isn't necessarily um, the choice of the parents, it is going to have an impact on the child's life one way or the other. If it doesn't show up cons conspicuously, it's going to be something that's sitting inside that's going to play out in other aspects of this person's life when they grow into an adult. Unbeknownst to this woman, this fire never really dies. Even when it comes up now and then when there's an opera and she needs it, it's a savior and it works well, but it also has its downsides. This is when it's now seeping out in areas where it now begins to make things uncomfortable for her and bring negative results in her life. And she begins to lose control of it because she cannot contain it. So it begins to also eat away at her inner peace, even without her knowledge. And there is nothing that is going to stop it until she's restored to her default, where she consciously obtains the peace that was stolen from her. So this becomes a part of her because it becomes a part of, it becomes a habit that she needs for survival in life. It's a good thing because people who are lacking this also suffer from not having that fire. But this fire, when it becomes almost all consuming, it's not a good thing. As we all know, moderation is key in everything. Any excessive use of anything is likely going to have negative results. Another time that this happens is when people keep quiet about things that they're not happy with, when things happen in their lives and they're not able to express themselves, they're not able to speak up. So it sits inside them and it's like a bottle where there's a lot of gas and everything is bottled up and so it just sits there. And then from time to time there will be these outbursts and this person reacts, responds to stimuli and they know that they do have some deep-seated anger. Uh, they don't realize that it comes. Or maybe sometimes they do realize that it comes from bottling things up. Sometimes people feel that that is the way to deal with things. But we can never cheat nature. So when we're bottling things up, we're going to be erupting. That's why sometimes you actually hear them say that still waters run deep. You hear people say that quiet people, when they get angry... They can be really, really angry. This is what is happening sometimes with a woman who doesn't voice out her disappointments and her hurts. Sometimes she explodes like this. So expressing ourselves is something that is very important as human beings. Don't listen to anyone who tells you to keep things in for the sake of peace. Because that peace that we're saving today is going to create a battle and a war tomorrow. So what is key is express yourself, but you need to express yourself carefully and reasonably so that you don't lose control and have outbursts so that people don't end up with a rage inside. Other ways that these things can play out, pay attention, is sometimes reckless behavior, sometimes lying, sometimes stealing even, sometimes playing loud music. Something as simple as playing loud music can be an expression of a rage inside. Sometimes it plays out with drug use, sometimes promiscuity, sometimes even speed, speeding, racing with a car, even sometimes speeding recklessly when driving, some, sometimes some sort of crime or the other. I've already mentioned drug use. So when people are engaging in reckless behavior or dangerous behavior, it's an answer to a rage that is being felt inside. When people are engaging in reckless behavior, it could be an answer, it could be an answer to a rage that is simmering inside. And so it comes flying out every now and then. 
And anyone who experiences this knows that there is a feeling of a vacuum, a hole inside, a sort of emptiness of something that needs to be plugged. And for a woman who feels this way, she will most likely experience difficulties with relationships. And for a woman who feels this way, she will most likely experience challenges when it comes to relationships. She will not attract men that will be a match for her or a match for her energy. The kind of men that she will attract will be men who are actually drawn to this thing in her. Well, this thing is what is going to create the most friction for them at the same time. Because those men will be living off of this energy. This is what they like. What she will in turn be usually frustrated with these men because she will not have a match for herself. And so these relationships will not play out well and she won't be happy or satisfied in the relationships. These men are drawn to her because of this energy and most often they will not be high quality men and they also cannot meet her own needs. And they are sucking on, on this energy of hers but she has nothing to get from them in return. And so this ends up being a very frustrating relationship. And so most of our relationships are challenges until she deals with this anger. The men may be satisfied. In most cases, they are because they got what they came for. But that it was instrumental payment. Let that car dealer show us the message. of to saying, I will not pay you. I will not give you your money. Let me tell you guys something. Most of these people, once they see celebrities, clouds, clouds go, they hungry them. They won't use that shine. Even if the person blow them breeze, they will shout, say, you don't slap me. Just for it to get on the internet. Excuse me she doesn't have what she needs because it's like something that needs plugging and she doesn't have something to plug that hole literally speaking it actually works that way and so there is a big mismatch here but it's a psychological thing that plays out in the physical and for people who are not aware of it this is why it needs to be solved otherwise they will never have the quality of life or the kind of life that they can enjoy she will also lash out constantly on these men because they will frustrate her and she has to take that frustration out on them so the vacuum that this woman feels inside is the reason for the feeling of rage that we see on display many people have found that knowing the reason for this rage is half the step in containing this problem the other half will play out either by one having someone or some place where they feel totally relaxed completely with this person and that's because they, the person or the place provides comfort where it's like here i am safe so it can be a physical place even because of what they associate with this place and i'm not saying that they're going to be reliant on the person or a person or this place once they they find that person or that place then they can begin to work towards the calm on the inside because having that person or that place shows them the possibility of having that calm once they experience that calm it tells them something on the inside and it begins to quell that fire on the inside and so the fire now begins to die so that they are beginning to be restored to their normal state and with this the knowledge of what has created this problem in the first place and finding that calm helps to recalibrate this person and they now start to be at peace with nature. In other way, the second way that this can be resolved is by them getting in touch with the person or people who created that upset in the first place and having a conversation that leads to a closure. Now, if a person reaches out and tries to get closure and they're unable to get it because sometimes some people either will not offer the closure, will not make themselves available for it, do not believe that they even owe or that they are able to give that closure or just will not cooperate, then you might want to reach out to us so that you can get in touch with a counselor and talk this through and you can get closure without being without getting it directly from the source of the initial problem. So if you've tried this and it has proved futile, please look in the description below this video so that you can write us, email us, so that we can put you in touch with a counsellor that you can look at this issue together to see the possibility of arriving at closure so that you can get your calm. 
now we cannot promise that it will work for every type of problem or every type of issue it depends on what the issue is and if it's something that we cannot handle then you may need to reach out to some other therapist or counselor but whatever the case may be this is an issue that you want to solve so that you can actually have the life that you desire and that you're put on this earth to have now don't forget what i told you if you know someone who needs this make sure to send this video to them so that they can begin to have calm and peace in their lives because it's not funny living with this kind of rage on the inside okay and with that wishing you the best wishing you calm and wishing you peace bye bye